And I didn't get to do it last year, but I'm thinking about doing a giveaway hunt for two of y'all to come here. Yo! What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Feels like I haven't done a lodge renovation update in a long time. Welcome back. Uh, if you're new, hey, this is my hunting lodge. And uh, if you were here back when I built it, man, that was a fun time, wasn't it? Here is the lodge. This is the situation. We're gonna get right into it today. Yeah, I got a mess. All of uh, the stuff from inside is now outside, out of the way. We got quite the project going on inside. Uh, my new buddy, uh, Caleb, is here. He's got two guys with him, and uh, they are uh, refinishing the floors. If you have been here, you understand that I have concrete floors. They were a light blue color. I'll show them to you. They're not very attractive. I'm ready for the epoxy. That's what they're doing. They are prepping right now. I'm gonna go slam the camera in his face and hopefully he don't mind. <laughs> well, sorry guys, it's really loud. Uh, they got the, uh, this has a diamond grinding disc on it. I'm grinding the floor down, taking the top coat down and roughing it up. They already went through and filled all of the joints. This is basically the first step. Day, day two. So the entire lodge is completely ground down. Looking really nice. Holy smokes, second process here. I hear you clicking around on them clickers. <laughs> Look at those things. Fancy golf spikes. <laughs> So what's this here? What coat you got going on here? This is the base coat for the flake system that we're doing. This is a two-part mix. It's a part A and part B. It's got a uh, built-in moisture vapor barrier in it. And basically we get this down at 180 square feet a gallon. And right after that we flake into it and ties it all together. So you let the, you put this down, you put the flake on it, you let it go, yep. and then you put another coat on top of the yep. flake. Yeah, we do a uh, polyaspartic top coat. Gotcha. Yep. You didn't turn the AC on, Dom? Yeah, if you wanted. No, I said you didn't? Uh-uh. God dang, you're just killing yourself out here, bro. Yeah. I'll turn it off. You might have to reach in and turn that one on in that other bedroom in there. It's oh, on that room. wall. Yeah, it's on that left hand. If you yeah. want to crack, I'll turn this one on. All right. Yeah, it's hot. It's like 97 degrees out today. So they're finally able to shut the big door. They got all the dust out. I got a ton of dusting to do through the sink. Lots of, I'm gonna have to bring the air compressor in here. I'm gonna have to blow off all the mounts. That rooftop, look at the rooftop over there. It's just coated in dust. A lot of grinding to get this whole floor like this. Let's help these boys out a little bit. Oh boy. You guys are like the mad scientists over here. <laughs> Chemists. Not knowing a damn thing what you're doing, do you? <laughs> Just kidding. It gets hot and it gets hard. Yeah, real fast. Not that fast, but it get you know you're on a time limit for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. This is flaked. Look at that. So there is the final color. Let the camera adjust a little bit. Yeah. You usually just work with uh, the chest out and the guns out everywhere you go? Usually. Yeah. Nah, I, I don't actually even uh, 
have a t-shirt. You didn't give me a company t-shirt. No. You didn't so, give me a company t-shirt? No. So you refused to wear a shirt at all? Exactly. I, I feel that protest. That's not bad. Hey, he got hangry earlier. Yeah. I didn't blame him, man. No. He was ready hungry. to go pick it on the edge of the road real quick. I mean, he should have woke up for breakfast, though, too. You know? Dang. You missed breakfast? Not a morning guy. Not a morning guy? He just kind of... No really rhyme or reason to it, just... Just feed the chickens. You'll see at the end. But you can kind of see right there. Right there. Right yeah. Yeah. That's gnarly. I've always wondered how it was done. Hey, I always wondered how it was done, and now we're going to tell the world how it's done so you've got a business now and you have a bunch of competitors. Isn't that, that's how waterfowl works, man. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah. That's gnarly, dude. That's cool. Oh, we're back. <laughs> Sorry, the video's kind of been all over the place. I've been uh, running my butt off for the guys. Um, just working my absolute butt off. Yesterday was Father's Day. Big, big happy Father's Day to all my fathers out there. I hope you had a great day. But it is in fact time to get the old fridge back in the lodge out of the enclosed trailer. Floor is dry, completely finished. I was not able to go step by step by step and film everything and have Caleb, the operator in here, have him explain everything. And the reason why it was just so, so, so loud still smells like epoxy wow look at that look at that it looks so good it has needed this for so long let me get close and show you guys mm-hmm uh-huh that is that's a really really nice color perfect it is perfect here in a minute i'm going to turn that big light off we'll turn on the mood lights and i want to see how it looks yes this is an investment for me but y'all know people come from all over the nation literally all over the nation to come here and it has been one of my main goals to get this floor done the floor has always looked pretty hideous to me everybody else probably didn't mind it but to me it was the last thing that needed to be done to really put the lodge together when folks come from so far away I really want them to feel at home and I really want the place to feel completely finished now it is this hallway looked so bad before they did this and technically it was my fault because I tried to do a little clear coat of my own in there and I completely made it look like crap. But the last thing you guys probably seen, um, I'm guessing, was them throwing flakes. So they rolled out the base coat, then they threw flake just by hand uh, everywhere, scattered it out. They let that dry overnight and then the next day, they came in with brooms and blowers, blew all the excess all the way into this corner bagged it up, boxed it up, and then they took their large scraper and scraped the entire floor. So basically you're just like flattening it out. So everything's stuck, whatever stayed is stuck, and you just basically cut the top off, all the sharp ends and everything. Once that's done, they had to once again go around every single edge in this whole entire place Here's the locker room, it looks awesome. Look at the new locker room, y'all. How good does that floor look? I love it, I'm, I'm in love with it. Turned out absolutely stunning, perfect. So they had to edge it all, knock it all off around the edge. Basically just a lot of cleanup work, vacuuming. Uh, but really what I learned from epoxy flooring, number one, and this is just my advice, guys, if you have a big area like this, a garage, if, if, you've, if you don't have any experience with epoxy, I would not recommend you going to Home Depot or something and buying a home kit. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of you that have made it work because you're not dumb like me. No, but really I just wanted to 
pay decent money, good money for a good product. And that's what happened. The prep, the grinding is so important that if I would have tried to do this on my own, there's no way that I would have ground that deep into the pores of the concrete like they did. Hits me right here, man. The lodges came so far. We've come so far all because of y'all. I want to thank you guys so much. Um, Caleb, the guy who brought his buddies and did it, um, he actually has been following me and watching the videos for a long time, just like a lot of the clients do um, that come here. They've been a subscriber to the channel forever or followed me on Instagram, which if you haven't followed me on Instagram, go do that. Caleb actually reached out to me via DM on uh, Instagram and was like, hey Bob, uh, have you uh, done anything with the lodge floors yet? I remember watching a video a year ago and you saying you want to. And I'm like, no, I just haven't got around to it. I haven't found someone that can do it. I haven't really looked. He was like, I'm your man. He's just sent me uh, some recent job photos that he had done. And I'm like, holy cow, you really know what you're doing. Yeah, let's get this going. Caleb and the boys are actually from Lincoln, Nebraska. So they drove three and a half hours down, stayed two to three nights, whatever it was, and knocked it out. Just, we had a good time. Uh, I, they went and fished one of my little farm ponds, caught a bunch of bass, and just had a good time while they were down here. I love camaraderie. I love all of the stuff that I've received in the lodge. All of this, all this, all these decoys, all from you guys. Um, the community that I've built with your guys' help uh, via waterfowl hunting is pretty special to me. And, and uh, I'm gonna keep her going here. This is the slow time of the season for me, being middle of summer. Should start picking up here with the wheat being cut. Some pigeon hunts should be popping up. You guys gotta let me know what you guys wanna see. And if you're interested in booking a hunt, yes, we do have availability left. Sand Hill is always linked down in the description of every single video. Just fill out the booking form and I'll get a hold of you. Please, serious inquires only. Thank you. But my podcast is going to be firing up here soon. We kind of go on a little lull for summer, but now I'm, I'm ready to get back at it. I'm ready for the episodes to start firing up. Maybe one, two, three a month. And I didn't get to do it last year, but I'm thinking about doing a giveaway hunt for two of y'all to come here this coming season, but doing that giveaway over on my podcast. If you haven't checked out my podcast, do so. Uh, new episodes will be dropping very, very soon. I promise you, and, and I have a lot of fun over there. I can be myself, I can use the language I want. Um, I can talk about things over there that I can't hear. Um, I can just be Bob over there. It's, it's very uncut. <laughs> Oh yeah, now that big light's off, all the mood lighting is on. Man, that thing looks awesome. It just looks so put together. Look at that. Now the hard work begins. I gotta get the table back over here, all of the furniture, the dusting on, unfortunately, all of the mounts. Yeah, pretty bad. I got a lot of work to do. Not gonna be fun. Look at this, uh, the poor teal mount. Yeah, it's bad. Gonna have to get up there with a hose and an air compressor and just start blowing them all off. Thank you all for being here. I'm gonna stop rambling. I gotta get busy. Uh, videos are gonna be on the way, podcasts on the way. Hope you all are staying cool during the off season here, you know. I'm ready. I'm ready for the waterfowl hunting. I'm ready for dove. I'm ready for honkers. I'm ready for teal. I'm ready to get going. Subscribe if you haven't, but until next time.